Welcome back to my Cup Cadet Model 123 rebuild. This is uh, the fifth part. Uh, I'm going to clean the valves and some. Uh, there's going to be some disassembly. And at the end, I have some questions for the uh, engine guys or gals, whichever. Um, so here's the engine. You, you see, I've got the piston out. Um, took that out in the last video. Those are the valves right there. They they're not horrible, I guess. I've seen pictures of with more carbon buildup, but they definitely need to be cleaned. Um, I have to take this cover off right here and inside of there is where the valve stem goes down there's the, the springs and the, and the retainer and everything um, so I went to advanced auto parts and I was able to borrow this for free uh, it's just a uh, valve spring compressor um, perfect little tool for doing this and really you know you gotta have it to do it there's just no way you can do it without it okay so Let's get started. I took off that little cover, and you see it's got like this. Um, there's the cover there. It would normally go on like that. Um, that right there is like a um, like a wire brush feeling sort of sort of thing, and it just uh, it just lifts right out. Uh, you can see there's some wall and stuff in here. I need to clean up. Um, there's that little. I guess a spacer is what that is. I don't know what that correct terminology is for it. comes out, I take this little metal part off, and then there's this little cross-looking piece of metal. Um, it's real, real thin. Uh, and then you just have to pull this piece of metal out right here. It's it's, it's uh, sitting up against a couple of gasket, or a gasket, and it was really stuck on there kind of good. So I had to get a flathead screwdriver and just kind of pry it up. Uh, but it, it popped off. As you can see here, this is after I just use the screwdriver, okay? And you can see the gasket around there. There's a lot of oil in here and stuff. Uh, uh, there's this, the two springs. Uh, on the right is intake, and the left is exhaust. Um, gonna have to compress those in order to be able to get the little retainers out. Let's see, I've got the compressor on here. Now, what it's doing is on the top here, it's holding down the valve, and here it's pressing up the spring. Now, I didn't understand what, what I was supposed to be doing on here. So I should have put the retainer under, or the uh, compressor under the retainer there, and pull the retainer up. And there's these two little metal retainers that retain this retainer. I don't know, uh, and uh, they would have just fallen right out. Uh, I finally got them out right here. You can see on the right hand side it's lower than the left hand side. I have to do the same thing there. Um, I didn't really figure. I'd never done it before, and I didn't know what I was doing. So it took me a lot longer than it should have. Um, you should normally just grab the entire, just squeeze the entire thing and pull it out. Um, but after you do that, you can just pull the valve out. Um, but once again, I didn't realize that either. So I worked that entire spring out. Now, here is everything out. Um, I, I didn't clean the springs, but I cleaned this up uh, as best I could. I, I dipped it in the Berryman's you know, carburetor cleaner stuff. Uh, set it in there for probably 30 minutes, then I sprayed it off with water and I used a wire brush to, to scrub it pretty good. Uh, you know, it's not shiny metal, but uh, I got all the carbon buildup off and it's real smooth now. He's, um, so I had to put them back in, I had to use the same, you know, compressor. Um, same sort of setup. It's really hard to get these springs back in. I had to do it with like a screwdriver at first, and then you set the valve down in there. Uh, it was a pretty much a challenge, but those little retainers go right there where you see that little band, that little like indentation. It's kind of blurry, kind of hard to see, but if you look, you know, halfway up between where the retainer is and where the tappet comes up, there, or the lifter, there's a little band right there. I also had to adjust the um, the lifters because the space between them and the valves was actually a, a way off. And in the manual, it tells you exactly what you need. It's too blurry to read right here, but uh, I just got that from the uh, service manual that I downloaded from the internet for free. Uh, I printed it all out in my laser printer. Um, these are the little retainers I was telling you about that go in those little bands. They have a, in the middle of them, they, they kind of come out a little bit so they catch in that uh, in the little gap. Okay, so anyways, I took the tire off and look, somebody put a screw in one of the holes so they have a guide to put their wheels back on. Pretty smart, I thought. Um, this is the fender I got to take off. It's got six screws. This is really just more for my uh, reference later on, so I know where all the screws go again. And uh, the other side's the exact same way. 
I just gotta take that off. Now I, I bought a 124 that was uh, nothing but a frame and really missing a lot of stuff for the fenders. Uh, also got a 1650 with that. I showed that in another video, but just had to take that off. Oh, look. Nobody ever cleaned this thing up before. I mean, there's a rat's nest in here, and if, if I had better lighting, you'd be able to see that there's just, you can see it here, there's just mud caked on the hydrostatic transmission. Uh, just mud everywhere in this thing. It's just horribly filthy. Oh, oh don't forget to take this little thing out. This is where you were able to adjust the hydro. Um, you have to take that off where you can take this rear part off where the seat mounts to. Anyway, so look at this uh, piston and let me know if you think this is worn bad. Um, you know, you can see the silver and kind of the, 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 the discoloration there, you know, which I think is pretty normal, but the silver looks like it's been slapping up against the cylinder wall, causing that wear. I, I, I'm just wondering if it's still good or not. Alright, so next time um, we're going to do some more disassembly some cleaning, maybe we'll get some sanding, and maybe even some engine work, I hope. Uh, maybe measure the bore and, the, and make sure we're still good there. Uh, Alright, Nest!